Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace an evaporator fan motor grommet in this GE refrigerator, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver, a 5 16 inch nut driver, a quarter inch nut driver, a small flathead screwdriver, and a T15 Torx bit. Before you begin the procedure, unplug the appliance's power cord. Remove the lower freezer basket, as well as the three freezer shelves. Remove the ice bucket as well. Next, use the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screw securing the light cover. With the screw unthreaded, squeeze the sides in to fully release the cover. Now use the quarter inch nut driver to unthread the four screws securing the evaporator access panel. With the screws unthreaded, pull the panel out from the bottom and down to remove. Use the small flathead screwdriver to help disconnect the ice maker wire harness. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, unthread the screw securing the ice maker to the liner. With the screw unthreaded, you can pull the ice maker assembly straight out to remove. Using the 5 16 inch nut driver, unthread the left side mounting screw securing the auger motor. Lift the auger motor up to detach. Use the small flathead screwdriver to help disconnect the wire harness so you can fully remove the motor. Now use the quarter inch nut driver to unthread the front and rear screws, securing the left ice bucket glide to the liner. Do the same to uninstall the right ice bucket glide from the liner. Next, unthread the four screws securing the air duct. Disconnect the LED light wire connector then release the clip to remove the entire LED light bar assembly. Use the small flathead screwdriver to depress the tab to detach the ice maker and auger motor wire connector from the air duct. You can now pull the air duct out of the freezer compartment. Use the quarter-inch nut driver to unthread the two screws, securing the fan housing to the rear liner. Detach the wire harness grommet from the fan housing. Pull the housing forward, 
Then detach the temperature sensor from the evaporator coil and disconnect the wire harness connector to fully remove the fan housing. Pull the evaporator fan blade off. Use the T15 Torx bit to unthread the two screws to detach the evaporator fan motor mounting bracket assembly. If applicable, slide off the dust cover and remove the front or rear bracket. You can now remove the old evaporator fan motor grommet. To install the new evaporator fan motor grommet, insert it into the bracket from the inside. Reposition the bracket and slide the dust cover over the motor shaft, if applicable. Align the motor and bracket assembly on the fan housing and thread the screws to secure. Fully seat the fan blade on the motor shaft. Reinstall the fan housing by reconnecting the wire harness connector and insert the other wire harness connector grommet into the notch in the housing. Position the housing on the rear liner and thread the two screws to secure. Snap the temperature sensor onto the evaporator coil. Reinstall the air duct by first snapping the wire connector into the hole in the duct. Position the duct and re-thread the four screws. Snap the LED light bar assembly into place and reconnect the wire connector. Reposition the right ice bucket glide on the liner and thread the two screws to secure. Reinstall the left ice bucket glide the same way. Reinstall the auger motor assembly by first reconnecting the wire harness. Align the right side of the support in the right bracket, then hook the left side onto the left bracket. Thread the screw to secure. Reinstall the ice maker assembly by aligning it on the rear liner post. Be sure to place the spacer between the ice maker and the side liner. Then thread the screw through the spacer and into the liner to secure. Connect the wire harness.
Make sure the ice maker's on-off switch is in the on position. Realign the evaporator access panel by sliding it up into place. Thread the four screws to secure. Replace the LED light cover by aligning the lower cover tabs first, then snap the side tabs into place. Rethread the screw to fully secure. Replace the shelving and basket. Reinstall the ice bucket. Plug the appliance's power cord back in. And the refrigerator should be ready for use.